Hey, graph sniffers. Check this out. Boom. What do you think? Eh? By your attention? Maybe? A little bit? I mean, definitely interesting, right? I know it's weird that we're starting off with a little bit of graph sniffing, but I really wanted to get your guys' attention before you guys, like, you know, get to, like, 30 seconds and it's like, nah, this video sucks. And then dip. Look at this. We don't get much stuff like this at more accessible prices. You might want to stick around for this one. Hey, awesome friends. I am awesome, Danny. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk to you about a new set from Hibby in collaboration with F Audio. Not sure if this is out yet. It was supposed to be out in April, but it's not out yet. I think this is the project ACE, which is funny because when Hibby contacted me to send this out, which disclaimer, they did send this in to me for review and asked me just to, you know, give it an honest review, make a video about it if possible and let you guys know what my experience was. But when they were talking about it, I was like, Project Ace, I wonder what it's going to be named. That's what it was named. I thought it was like the code name, you know, before stuff actually releases when it's in development. It's like, yo, Project Ace, that sounds cool. I wonder what the actual name will be in. Here we are. It'd be Project Ace. So what is the Project Ace? Well, I'm glad you asked. Even if you didn't, you probably didn't. I mean, and even if you did, I can't hear you. So let's just pretend that you asked and I heard you. All right, moving on. Project Ace is a 12 millimeter. Yeah, 12. Two whole extra millimeters more than, you know, the competition. Well, average competition. Single dynamic driver set which is, you know, it's cool. I always get intrigued when it's something different. Get tired of the same old things, you know, you got a lot of sets that are just single 10 millimeter dy dynamic drivers shoved into a shell, shipped out, usual, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So this set is $249, 249, not 249.99, no. You keep your 99 cents, 249, no 99. Getting into what you actually get, or your purchase in this nice little plain box, you actually get a decent unboxing. Overall, the set is just classy and sophisticated. It feels like it's a set made for adults, you know, not like those kids that just want flashy things that are $10 and tuned to Harmon and are kilobuck killers, right? No, this is a sophisticated set for the grownups. But again, very nice unboxing. Open up the box. You are you get some paperwork. You're greeted by the IMs. The IMs are designed very nicely, very subtle. Again, sophisticated, elegant, very pretty uh, paint finish on the shells. And then you get a plainish, darkish cable that is a little bit thick and rugged. Some memory, but it feels nice. And that's a theme here. The entire packaging felt premium you know more so than i expected like when i was unboxing this before they let me know how much it actually cost i thought it was going to cost you know close to four hundred dollars because it, it's not uncommon as soon as the set gets a little bit more well put together and the packaging is a little bit more cohesive that it just skyrockets the price for some reason 249 bucks so again going back to the cable it's actually a modular plug cable so you can swap out the terminations and it comes with 3.5 and 4.4 millimeter terminations which is awesome because we don't need 2.5 right let me know in the comments if you still use 2.5 for some reason also i love this little trend that i've been seeing and i guess we don't we can't really call it a trend because it's only happened twice i believe i can't even remember the last IM that did this and i swear i just had one that did this recently but the cable itself has a little like screw on thing, a little screw on clip, I guess. I don't know. It's just a, a little bit of housing that just screws on to the plug itself at the end of the cable to keep it secure. That way it doesn't come off. So you just put on the plug. It's not tension only. There's that little screw in. So great inclusion here. I feel like a lot of those modular plug cables when you have them out and about are very you know susceptible to popping off project days comes with two sets of ear tips one full set of silicone and one full set of foams ew 
foams gross uh not that bad it's really weird it's just because it's uncommon that you get a full set of foams like there's a small medium and large which i appreciate because a lot of times you only get like a large set of foams or a medium and a large and most of the time i find them too big for me i was actually able to use the, the small foams with this uh i know gross i used foams ew but they worked it was it was nice the silicone ear tips are good as well they're actually you know better than the average uh just random inclusion uh ear tips both sets were good and you also get a very nice leather case with a nice little magnetic strap to keep it secure and in the case there is a felt lining and there's a little divider included in there so you can put stuff in there i was putting like the modular plugs in there or when i wasn't using the im and i unplugged it from the cable i'll put the ims in there just for storage easy carrying too if it's everything that comes inside the box fine except for the ear tips which i forgot to mention the ear tips actually come in a little case awesome i love that you know instead of just here's a little ziploc bag of ear tips it comes in its own little case as well so you can definitely use it find the ear tips that fit you the best with the project ace and then just keep those ear tips in the little case and carry that with you oh also a cleaning tool which is nice but do, do any of you guys use the cleaning tools i don't think i've ever reached for a cleaning tool like ever i usually end up just grabbing something off my desk to pick at stuff if there even is anything to pick at but cleaning tool included all right now let's talk about this shell so like i mentioned before the design is very elegant it is unique looking it's simple but minimalistic and still eye-catching at the same time there's just a really nice look to it but the shell is very big and not as ergonomic as i would like also the nozzle is kind of weird a little stubby and small for the shell at least for me there was a lot of uh, tip rolling i had to do to actually get a good fit and seal with this im and it makes a big difference because if you do not get a good seal that trouble is really going to come through and you're going to lose a lot of that note weight a lot of that base and it doesn't have a lot of base so you want to make sure you get the right seal so i ended up using the duno sns tips and the foam tips the most those were the best out of everything that i tried and i tried a lot of them because unfortunately i just did not have a good fit with this i am i just it was not as compatible with me as you know the usual set you might have an easier time with this i just did not have an easy time at all all right but now getting into when i actually did get a good seal this set is actually very fun it is a very unique set very different than everything i have but you know unique doesn't always mean good and different doesn't always mean good either so you know i took a while i i, I had it i've had this for like I don't know a week or so i've been using it pretty much every day it got sent in with the r4 you know probably the best dap in the world i mean we'll review on that one soon it's such a good dap been using it a lot with project ace i'm getting sidetracked here i don't even remember where i was what i was talking about but again very unique fun set very different so it was a really good change up to my usual stuff it was just like yeah, i'm gonna put this on instead and oh it's actually a difference sunny is messing with my boxes over here give me a second sunny can you stop huh no you don't need to get those so overall again here let's go back to that graph you know that graph i teased um earlier in the video here it is so as you can see it's kind of flat it there is a little bit you know of gain going into the base mid base is a little elevated and then sub base is a little bit elevated and then there is a little bit of a rise going into the upper mids which is very nice and then there's those scary peaks you know going into the trail ones like whoa what's going on here well i'm really glad that it doesn't sound exactly as it graphs it is a lot more prominent if you don't get a good seal though so depending on your ear tips um, anything that's like wide bore or not a good seal or fit, you are going to notice that harshness in the treble. But let's start at the base real quick. So the base is not a lot. 
at least looking at the graph but in you know looking at the overall grand scheme of things here it's actually a decent amount it is still lean but that base really thumps the air really moves and there's a good amount of rumble not as much as i would like but it's there and more than i expected actually a lot more than i expected so overall base was fine it was accurate it was there when the songs called for it like if the track had a good amount of sub bass it was there sub bass didn't rumble as much as i would like but the mid bass did thump very well and that initial impact in the sub bass as well like it's just had a decent amount of attack and you can feel it and it was pretty satisfying and i'm not sure if it's just the overall tuning or the driver or a combination of both but it was very very fun now moving on to the mids so i would consider this a pretty mid-centric type of tuning on this set at least mids are very nice vocals are very pleasant and full like they're lush they're full both male and female vocals are very accurately represented but they do kind of sit within the mix it's not what i'm used to when stuff gets kind of pushed up a good amount so it suffers a little bit in clarity and just overall um space within that sound stage so it feels a little bit more intimate but man they do sound really good like in um bliss by malay malay millet i don't know but that song i love that song i've been stuck on that song um for you guys that haven't seen free run yet it's a great great anime you guys should check it out but that song it's just her vocals are so heavenly and they sound great on a lot of sets but they've sounded very good on project ace and then also on the soft tears rsv that's back there i believe rsv is the best version of that song i've heard but on project ace stuff like that comes across really nicely those slower ballad songs when you do get into that treble like i mentioned before there is a little bit of gain there it's not as bad as you would think especially being so much above the upper mid gain it's not that bad but it does shine through in some tracks i usually mention in like my k-pop there's a lot of over processed vocals or a lot of those like really sharp synths like those do get a little bit of a harsh edge to them if it's like really compressed and auto-tune vocals yeah you'll you'll get that sharpness and the unnatural stuff you'll notice it sometimes and it's not every single track there's just some tracks that the vocals the way they're processed ends up susceptible to that trouble but other than that and pretty much everything else that didn't have that characteristic it just helped define the sound it added a little bit of that edge a little bit of that outline to make the sounds more concise which was very nice and then a treble does taper off a bit so not super airy or shimmery the stage doesn't feel open a little bit you know more restrained in that regard less than neutral almost dark at the upper end so overall on text i would consider this a tonality over tech type of set so this is going to be for you guys that enjoy you know good timbre that enjoy a good accurate representation of musical type of music ah i know sounds a little dumb right i just mean mostly you know the the acoustic stuff orchestral stuff that has a lot of natural sound in it a lot of instruments a lot of raw vocals that stuff did great on project days the more processed stuff it depended like it would depend on how it was mastered how it was mixed for example i use these on a lot of rap and hip-hop and a lot of them it did fine like it had the bass quality that i like in those type of uh genres but it just didn't have enough so you know it was it was all right also overall just the way the tuning is it kind of sits everything almost at an even playing field so a lot of busy stuff lacked 
the separation or dynamics. So everything was too even sometimes. And it made it sound like it was just kind of at a wall and you were getting everything equally, which again was okay in some stuff. It's just in a lot of very busy stuff. I did not like it as much, but it still did it fine. Now let's compare. I'm going to compare this to, I don't have the P5 here because I just shipped it out to our friend Hobby, Hobby Talk. He's going to review it. So go watch his channel for another P5 review. Maybe. I don't know if he's going to actually review it. He just wanted to try it. But we're going to compare this to the P5 because the P5 is a great set. Still benchmark, in my opinion, at the price point. What is it? 200 bucks, 220 bucks. Still a great option. You're like you can buy that set and just end game with it and leave. Like seriously, there's so many good sets. Like we're eating good right now, guys. I don't think you guys understand. I feel like a lot of people get lost in the little nitpicks and trying to like gauge which one is best. It's like, dude, there are so many good things. Just find one you like and go. You're good. Don't fall into the FOMO. But comparing this to the P5, P5 has more base. It is less quality base, in my opinion, though. The base on the Project Ace is much better controlled and it has just a, a good amount of texture while still remaining very clean. It is it is very engaging. It's a very pleasant base presentation, very elegant, you know, in theme with the entire set. So P5 has more base, more fun. It's just not as well controlled. Uh, the mid stage, it's very similar in presentation for both of these. Things can get a little congested, a little sluggish with busier stuff, but Project Ace stays cleaner overall, which is awesome. I do love that I can get that type of sound presentation without giving up too much, you know? It's cool to try this, listen to stuff this way, but still get most of it. P5 is a little bit more trebly, but not as refined. And that's just the overall theme here in this comparison. Uh, Project Ace just sounds a little bit more refined, better controlled and subdued in a lot of areas, a little bit more effortless than P5. Tex overall, I'd probably give it to the P5 just because it's a little bit more dynamic, brings out a little bit more details, separates a little bit more sounds. They're just not as clean as on the Project Ace. All right, so Project Ace, recreating. What do you guys think? I give this a solid three. It's a good set. It is a very unique set. It's not gonna be for everybody, but this package is done very well. You're not missing anything. It's a well-built set. It's a well-executed tuning. Not the best for everything or everybody, but they did what they set out to do, in my opinion. Accessories are great. You're not missing anything here. Like, it's so great to be like, here, if you buy this, everything's in the box. Literally, the only thing that's up in the air is the tuning. If you buy this, there, you're done. If it's a tuning that you're interested in, here you go. I wish every set was like that. There's a lot of sets where it's like, hey, buy this, but you know, like it's gonna break soon because it's cheap or here, buy this, but you're missing ear tips. You're gonna wanna buy some good ear tips or buy this, but the cable kind of sucks and it tends to break. So make sure you buy another cable. It's just nice to get a nice full solid package that feels worth the value. So Project Ace, Recreating 3, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. I don't think it's out yet. It might be out by the time I post this video because editing sucks, but I don't think it's out yet. It's unaffiliated, of course. Thank you, Hibby, for sending this out for review. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I always forget to ask. Please like and subscribe. Every time you guys subscribe, Sunny gets a treat. So make sure that you guys subscribe and I'll give Sunny a treat. Just not too many at the same time. Throttle it a bit because then he's going to get fatter than he is. Also, stay tuned for R4 review soon. This thing is amazing and super cheap. $249. Like, it's just crazy how you can be like, hey, well, I'll get into it in the review. I have some 
nice little insights I want to share with you guys on that one. But you guys have to like and subscribe. And here I am rambling. The video is almost look how long I've been recording for almost half an hour and I'm still rambling. So go demo it. Thank you guys. Thank you, Patreons, for supporting the channel, keeping us alive. Thank you to our one YouTube member, Jawa of Jawadio. Yes, that Jawa. He is our YouTube member, keeping the channel alive. You guys are great. The channel would be nothing without you guys. So sincerely, I thank you. Now, I guess this is when I say bye. So until next time, you stay awesome, friends. Bye. Hey, awesome friends. As you can see, we have a guest today. Hey, Sonny. I'm rearranging back here, moving some stuff around. I'm going to put up another bookshelf and get more of all this crap I have laying around out here up on some shelves and uh, sorry, free up some room down there because I have crap everywhere, dude. Nobody told me that when I was going to start this whole YouTube shindig reviewing stuff that I should probably have like a warehouse to store things in. Say hi, Sunny. How you doing, buddy? High five. Can I have a high five? Can I have a high five, please? High five. Can you give me a high five for a treat? High five. I'll give you a treat. Yeah, you like that word, huh? Okay, give me high paw. Paw? Give me a paw. Paw for a treat. Oh, good job, buddy. Good job. All right, let me get you some treats.